Hello my soccer universe! I decided to do Germany and Austria next and really wait on the fallout of what happened between Juve and Napoli to be presented in potentially the next video. Maybe I do La Liga and Liga next. Let's see how it goes. The Premier League was crazy. There were also quite some crazy games in Germany and in Austria, especially if you consider the circumstances uh, that goes more to Austria. Um, I decided to wear Bremen because Bremen is one of my four favorite teams in Germany. And yeah, I have the new Gladbach jersey up there as well. So yeah, that's a new thing too. I was thinking, shall I wear it? But they won against Köln and I'm more Köln than Gladbach, so cannot really do it cannot really do it for that one. Um, I'm wearing the Bremen but we will not talk much about Bremen because I decided now that I only pick a uh, few games and the rest we just talk about results because otherwise the videos get longer and longer and longer because I can talk more and more and more and more and more. So for that reason we will not talk about Union Berlin's 4-0 win over Mainz although this is quite, uh, quite impressive, not expressive. Uh, but Mainz was anyway a team definitely on a downturn after the coach got sacked, uh, also the Schalke coach got sacked during the week. But we definitely can talk about Dortmund and Freiburg, um, a game that was relatively, how to say, non-exciting for about 30 minutes until Giorena runs through midfield, passes the ball to Holland, who puts it in a net with the first shot on goal. And the exciting thing about Dortmund, yes, they got completely uh, outmuscled by Augsburg in the last round, but the exciting thing, when the machine gets rolling, they are super impressive, and in addition, they have so many young players. Giorena, 17 assists, Holland, 19. If that team, and it will not stay together, but if that team could stay together, there could be something really, really great. Um, growing together there. Chirena also assists John for the second goal and then uh, the Freiburg team that was actually quite well in the game and keeping it tight and keep and frustrating Dortmund a little bit but not in as physically a manner as they did um, as Augsburg did. They just kept on losing goals and it's Holland who makes the third again assisted by Reina three assists and then uh, Holland in stoppage time assists Paslag, although he could well have scored himself. So uh, also unselfish there, Dortmund back on track. Um, another rather interesting game was the match between Frankfurt and Hoffenheim, where Hoffenheim, of course, coming off the big win over Bayern, but Frankfurt also enjoying a good start and had much the better of the game for most of the time. And more or less with the first attack, Baumgartner plays the Kramaric, uh, who takes a shot that got doubly deflected, but all slight deflections, and Kramaric again scores. Kramaric is in amazing form. It was a big uh, knock on the head for uh, Frankfurt. However, they come back in the second half. Uh, was you know those plays it uh, in, and Kamada can basically put it away from a short distance, and then Dost after uh, was Dost after uh, Silva sisters similarly. And Frankfurt turns the game around and completes their really good start to the season. And I'm also so happy to see Frankfurt back in red and black, which is the Frankfurt that I grew up with. For me, Frankfurt, Frankfurt is red and black and not black or white and black, something like that. The derby between Köln and Gladbach. Yeah, it's not a city derby, but the region is rather close. And they have been, especially in the 70s, there's a lot of um, rivalry going on between those two. Gladbach dominated Köln County and you know uh, Hoffmann assists the first two goals through player and liner in the 14th and the 16th that ends the game when Stindl through a penalty makes it 3-0 uh, it was just because uh, you know adding on everyone knew how, how, how this is gonna go. Uh, in the 84th pulls one back for Köln when they finally got a little bit going but you know uh, at that uh, moment the game was already decided so Gladbach had a miserable start actually first win Köln keeps continuing with a miserable start having only losses so far and the seat is getting hot for Gistol. Um, another hot seat is what Stuttgart's coach uh, Matarazzo, American coach. I was surprised because the name is more Italian 
who uh, plays like Leverkusen, a very offensive style. However, the game was mostly uh, Leverkusen, where uh, Schick in the seventh minute already scores the um, lead, but he has to come off a little bit later with an injury, as does to have Sinkram. So there are two injury uh, substitutions already in the first half for Leverkusen. And yeah, that kind of set Leverkusen back a, a bit. Yes, Belarabi should probably have a few goals, a couple of goals because he had many chances, but Stuttgart got themselves back into the game and Kalajic um, scores the equalizer. And I think I remember, I'm not 100% uh, but uh, he might even have hit the bar early, early on and it ends with a credible 1-1. One, one. Stuttgart promoted team really mixing it up in the Bundesliga. Uh, Bremen beat Bielefeld 1-0, uh, Leipzig 4-0 over Schalke uh, was the Angelino show uh, at, at first. Uh, it took a little while, but then 30, by the 35th minute they were up by two, two goals, 3-0 at halftime, and very late Halstenberg with a penalty, 4-0, Leipzig also rolling already. And Wolfsburg, Augsburg, uh, Wolfsburg is probably the most boring team in the Bundesliga, and I'm sorry to say this because uh, the coach is the former last coach, Klasner, which I actually respect a lot. Uh, but I'm afraid that he will not uh, last long in Wolfsburg if he cannot get a win now. They got eliminated from the Europa League in crazy fashion, so not looking good. Game of the weekend, definitely Bayern Hertha. Uh, also, nice jersey matchup. Um, I was not watching much because I was more than on United uh, Spurs and also the last game was all that, as we will see, I turned off relatively soon. Uh, and I saw it already in the first half this going the Bayern way. Müller had a goal allowed for a teeny bit of offside, but then Lewandowski scores, uh, make me exit 1-0 uh, through Gnabry. And then I saw that Lewandowski had scored already a second and 51st 2-0 and I thought, yeah, game done and dusted. Uh, uh. They came back. Uh, in the 59th, Cordoba um, pulls one back and then Cunha in the 71st equalizes. Wow, Hertha can really play with the big boys. And then you thought uh, the neck breaker came and Lewandowski scores another one after a Müller assist in the 85th. But Nganka, who just came on for Luca Bacchio, scores another equalizer. However, in stoppage time, a stupid penalty is given away for holding and uh, Lewandowski scores his fourth uh, and yeah, now everyone said Le Lewandowski is not scoring enough goals now he has five probably is up there with Kram Kramaric in the goal scoring charts I don't follow that much to, uh, that stuff too much so we have a 4-3 win for Bayern uh, which now in the table Bayern again moving a little bit up but they are only top four they're not much higher. It's Leipzig, Augsburg and Frankfurt who had the best, star best starts with Leipzig They're now having actually a um, small chance but more substantial than others um, to win the title. You know, if you're two point, uh, one point ahead of Bayern, it's not safe. Augsburg and Frankfurt. Frankfurt maybe puts itself a little in conversation for a potential Champions League spot but Lots of games still still to be played. Dortmund also bounces back. Um, is now also level with Bayern, but Bayern with the big win over Schalke at the beginning, of course, has a superior goal difference. And Bayern are still also favorites for everything, uh, for winning the Bundesliga, not, not every everything, because they're not also favorites for getting relegated. That honor now belongs to Schalke and Mainz, the teams that are in biggest trouble. And then it's Bielefeld and Köln. Mm, not so happy about that one either. Uh, surprisingly, Bremen is not considered a threat. I mean, they already have two wins, so let's see where this goes. After the international break, the Bundesliga comes back with the following matchups. I'm um, looking here. Augsburg Leipzig, we have a top, <laughs> top of the table duel, which no one expected. Uh, after what Hertha and Stuttgart are showing, this is kind of an offensive game at Hoffenheim Dortmund. Ah, there is some bad blood still there because I remember the last time. Uh, Dortmund basically handed Hoffenheim a 4 0 win on the last day of the season. Um, other than that, you know, current Frankfurt are two teams that I have sympathies for, but I, on, on other things, especially Sunday games, yeah, if you're interested in relegation and desperation, those are your games. Let's go to Austria, speaking of desperate. Uh, we had 
quite some interesting results on Saturday with Admira getting the first win over Reed, which is, yeah, puts Reed a little bit def definitely into trouble as Admira has some life again. Uh, Tirol loses home to Austria, so Austria also get, getting rolling, but I think the big result on Saturday was St. Burton um, demolishing, not demolishing, winning in Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg having a so and so start. I mean, generally considered among the top four teams in Austria at the moment, but they are looking a little bit um, unconvincing. I mean, they have all the possession, all the stats are for them, shots, but shots, shots and goal, for instance, St. Burton won. They got, St. Burton got the early lead through a penalty that Joveljic uh, is e equalizing, but then uh, Hugi in the 22nd and Grote Regen in the 37th give St. Burton a 3-1 uh, lead. Right after the half, Wolfsburg pulls one back, probably tries to, uh, have not seen much of it, tries to um, go for the equalize, but in very, very late uh, stoppage time, Halper seals the deal for St. Burton. Uh, duel is also in in interesting because both teams have a wolf's head in their logos. Salzburg has, thanks to the game against Maccabi Tel Aviv, Corona cases in their lineup. And I think two have been isolated. The rest of the team is basically in uh, team quarantine. Basically, they have to stay together. They cannot be between the apartment, between the stadium and going to the game. Other than that, they have to be in quarantine. Um, this also means that no Salzburg player will be um, eligible for the national team because of that rule. So you think Sal Salzburg uh, is taking a hit? Nope, absolutely not. They totally roll over Hartberg. That it was 2-0 uh, in the first half was maybe expected, but that they then to completely go over them with Koita scoring two, uh, Daka scoring two in the second half, and then Okafor with, with a penalty. You know, it was 5-0, then 5-1, 7-1. Pretty impressive. Sturm also with a big win over Altach, and then the big game, Rapid against Lask, but I never expected anything from that one, because Lask had a really tough game in Lisbon, had the travel, and although they won easily um, over Sporting, that must have taken a toll. And then, more importantly, uh, our goalie was came, came out injured and our uh, captain, Trauner, in the defense also came out injured. So it means that in defense we were really, really, really open and Rapid took advantage of that. Uh, very, very well, because you did not have the defender that can read the game well in Trauner. And so Murk after Funtas uh, assist and Hoffman uh, and, and Funtas after Hoffman assist within 22 minutes put Rapid in front. It was unfortunately deserved. I hate to say it, but it was. Lask did not, was a little bit off the whole time. Rams Ebner gives, makes a big foul on uh, Funtas uh, that gave him the red card. It was not intentional, but I really was hoping for a breakage. That's how mean I am to Rapid. I, I, I hate those guys. I have no sympathy towards them. Uh, also, I have to say the referee was definitely in favor of Lask. I mean, this guy, he is continuously against Lask and pro Vienna, uh, especially Rapid. I mean, it, it's crazy. So it was clear that not, not, nothing's going to happen. And in stoppage time, they make the third one, uh, which probably hurt a little bit, but uh, I didn't even see it anymore. I left it after 2-0. So in the table, yeah, Rapid will be very happy now that the uh, second and Lask is only fifth. Suckers. Uh, Salzburg, ha, flying, flying high. Um, Austria is also now moving in there, thanks to goal difference. Um, and Admira, who were last, are now in eighth spot. So very interesting. Alltag is now the lowest team in Hartberg who had just learned the uh, Europa League for one game while also in there. So still lots to be played. It's a long season, but Salzburg probably moving ahead of everyone else. So that was it for Germany and Austria. Let me know if you saw any games, if you had the similar observations as I did, or if you saw something different. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.